Who would have thought that a wartime shortage would lead to such a beloved and iconic beverage? Oftentimes, the actions through our history lead to unforeseen consequences. Today, we're going to talk about how one of the most important military conflicts of the 20th century, World War II, led to the creation of one of the most popular drinks in the world today, Fanta. Hello everybody, this is Kronos and welcome back to Pass Today. Join me as we uncover the story behind the popular soft drink, Fanta. Coca-Cola lands in Europe to conquer Germany. In 1923, the famous American company that had already won the hearts of its consumers in its homeland decided to take a leap of faith and expand beyond its borders, setting its sights on Germany. While it was an icon in the United States, it didn't achieve the same success in other countries. But Coca-Cola didn't give up so easily. They decided to create bottling plants all around the world to cater to the unique taste buds of other cultures. And that's how Coca-Cola began its global conquest. Now, don't go anywhere just yet because this story also has a taste of orange. Before we talk about the delicious Fanta, let's continue discovering how Coca-Cola took over international markets. It all started when the company landed on European soil under the leadership of Ray Rivington Powers. At first, sales were going quite well, but poor financial management eventually led him to being fired from the company. But who would come to save the day? None other than Max Keith. This capeless hero decided to bring the soda company back to life and promote it as a national product, just as it was done in his beloved country. And sales went boom. Literally, the brand went from selling 100,000 bottles a year to more than 5 million, a massive success. But when Adolf Hitler came into power, things started to take a turn for the worse. Despite operating normally at first, Coca-Cola began to have several issues with their operations. Want to know more about how this story ends? Keep watching the video because the best is yet to come. Danger ahead. Coca-Cola's fame in Germany reached an all-time high. The drink became such a sensation that even the Nazi regime couldn't resist its charm. In fact, they wanted to get their hands on and seize the secret formula, and even nationalize it. Incredible, but true. The soda became a key piece of the power struggle, but Coca-Cola wasn't going to be intimidated. The story of Fanta keeps getting more interesting. World War II wreaked havoc on the entire world including on the relationship between Coca-Cola Germany and its headquarters in the United States. The bombing of Pearl Harbor in 1941 forced Coca-Cola's European branch to sever ties with its American counterpart, leaving them without the necessary supplies to make the famous soda. So now what do you do? Well, innovate, baby. Max Keith, always resourceful, came up with a brilliant idea to make a new drink using fruit pulp and whey. You know, that liquid remaining during cheese curdling? And voila, out comes Fanta. But wait, there's more. The story behind how Fanta got its name is also very interesting. Max Keith wanted a name that would stand out, one that was catchy to easily grab the public's attention. So, he held a contest among his employees to come up with the perfect name. That's when Joe Nip, an experienced and savvy salesman who had been inspired by his boss's words, suggested Fanta, which is short for the German word Fantasy, meaning fantasy. The company executives loved it, and Fanta took the market by a storm. To build trust with the public, who were unfamiliar with this new soda brand, they added the phrase, a product of Coca-Cola. Quite genius. Fanta became an innovative solution during the sugar shortage of post-war Germany. Since it had a sweet taste that people loved, they started using it as a substitute for sugar in their meals and drinks, making Fanta even more popular all over Germany, which boosted its success in the years to come. After the end of World War II, Coca-Cola wanted to make sure that its German subsidiary wasn't involved with the Nazis. And so, they decided to investigate whether any executives had ties to the Nazi party. Fanta and Keith were in the clear, which meant that the yummy orange soda could continue to be produced and sold. The company confirmed that the former head of the German subsidiary had not supported the Nazi regime and had even taken actions to protect some employees who were targeted by the Gestapo. 
This led to the American company acquiring the rights in the 1970s and spreading it all over the world. Currently, Fanta is one of the most popular soda brands in the world, with Germany, Mexico, and India being its top fans. In addition, it has a wide range of flavors to complement the original orange, such as lemon, grape, strawberry, and many others. And that's all for today. I hope you had fun learning a bit about the unconventional yet fun story of Fanta. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. We're coming out with more fun stories every week. Until next time, this is Protos signing off.